y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden video. So today we are doing an update and a planting video on cyclamen. So cyclamen are some of my favorite flowers that hardly anyone talks about because they are very tropical. They do best in tropical zones like Florida, down in the Caribbean, and with my zone, 8B, down here at the bottom of Florida, we get just enough of that Florida temperature, that nice, humid, uh, <laughs> nice, humid humidity that they really thrive in certain conditions. So I couldn't put these out in the sun, but under my shade tree where I have a really hard time growing most of my flowers, these thrive. I planted quite a few last year to try them out. One of these flats and a bunch whew, of little tiny tubers. So I wanted to show you first of all an update about how everything I planted last year, I will link that video down below, is growing because when I planted these, I had no guarantees, no ideas of how they are doing. But I also wanted to update on a new planting because these babies are not cheap. That is one of their downfalls. Now they are a tuber and so you can get tubers. I got four bags of tubers for I think $6 each. And if you can do that, that is great. But this pack of uh, six plants, Y'all messed up my back, so I'm trying, but I am in pain and I keep trying to find a position that's not screaming at me. This one's working. This six pack is $12.89. One nice big quart size can is almost $9. So if I just wanted to pack this out with beautiful full size plants, that could be very, very expensive very, very quickly. Luckily, I'm not in any rush. Like I said, I planted one of these and four, six, four packs of tubers last year. That was just about $35. And I've had great success with that. So I'm gonna add another pack. They do grow, they do multiply. The longer I leave them, the more they'll fill in on their own to the point where I'll have to separate them. But that could be years. So we went ahead I'll put some footage up on the screen of all the pretty plants they had at the store for full price. Your girl didn't get any of the full price ones, but I got this pack for half off. I'm gonna give you a close up and then we're gonna get these guys planted. I cannot wait. So here is a up close update. You can see some of these little purple ones. So I planted the tubers in wide areas here and even where there's not little flowers you can see the leaves coming up all around and that is half the point of these beautiful cyclamen is that the leaves even when they're not blooming have these beautiful ivy like textures and so here this is where i planted one two I'm not sure what that is, uh, plants. So I planted two plants and then a section of tubers. Again, one, two, here's the larger pink petals, flowers, they're so pretty. And then in between those, a section of tubers. The last one, two plants. And then on either side, a section of tubers all the way down to here. So I have a hydrangea here. I have a peony plant here and a peony plant here. So I don't want to go into those peony areas, but I can easily add, you know, a plant here and a plant here to go with the two plants. Again, here I could add two, I can add another two there, or I could add one with each of those. Here's the ones I purchased. So you can see some of them are 
in better shape than others, but for half off, that's still a good price. And even these ones that are really rough, we will remove, they're very easy, remove all the, all the struggling dead leaves. The tubers are still fine. And so as soon as we get them planted in a spot where they have consistent water and shade, they will come back and flourish. The six pack that I planted last year looked very, very similar to this. And you can see that all six of the tubers are still alive and thriving. So let's go ahead and figure out where we're gonna plant these and get them in the ground so that they can start to rebound and uh, produce beautiful flowers for us all fall, winter, and spring. I love the just position of the hot pink and the little light purple. And I also love that this whole area of the garden is very, very sparse in the fall, winter, and spring. Short of the irises I have down here, there's not a lot of spring color because there's no sun. These flowers, those hot pink flowers are so easy to see. Even the purple flowers are easy to see. And I love that they will just keep multiplying. And it's just like little hot pink winks of fabulousness when you are driving up or even just standing down on the opposite side of the garden. You look down this way and you can see those pretty little hot pink flowers popping up over the ground. And I love that even in the heat of the summer when the flowers are not there, those beautiful leaves are still there. So I cannot say enough about this. I have planted begonias. I have planted vincas. I have planted impatience. I have planted so many things down under this tree and either they just couldn't handle how little sun there is. They couldn't handle the shade. Not everything likes to grow under a tree. They couldn't handle the water. These are perfect. If you live in a tropical zone and you are looking for something that does well under a tree. That is how I found these. And they obviously, they do fabulous. Let's get them planted. When it comes to cleaning these out, you're going to start with the most obvious pieces, the leaves that are really, really struggling. And you're just going to pull. And honestly, if they are on the struggle bus, they come right out easy peasy. You're not going to hurt it by pulling off a bunch at once. You want to get any of the ones that are really yellow or curly out of there. And as the flowers and the leaves die, like this one, you'll want to come through maybe once a week and take all of those out as well. So this plant is the worst one I saved them for you. <laughs> He's going to go from having lots of leaves to hardly any, maybe none. I don't know, but that's okay. He'll put out new leaves. He's still alive. Now we're just going to keep taking them off. The interesting thing about cyclamen is that when you plant the tubers, the uh, flowers actually come up first. I'm going to take these two off as well because they're pretty much spent and then he won't have to support these when we plant them. So the flowers come up first and you'll just have this little fairy bell, whimsical fairy skirts dancing over the soil. And then once the flowers are up, the leaves start to come up. Now, once the leaves come up and are healthy, they will stay throughout the heat seasons and then the flowers will just come up when it cools off. But for now, this guy, if we can get him to focus, there we go. All of those coming up, those are new flowers. We're going to plant him, we're going to water him, and he will be just fine. So let's go ahead and start getting these planted with a little fertilizer. And then I will go over a bit of the watering requirements. gonna plant one right in front 
of the two bigger plants all the way around. If we need to, I have a hand shovel. Don't want to disturb the roots of the pieces we already have. Darn squirrels, always burying nuts. really worried when I first planted these because I'd come out to water them or chuck them and the tubers kept finding the tubers sitting on top of the dirt like I'd never planted them because the darn squirrels were digging them up and I was like these tubers are just a squirrel delicacy they're never gonna work but as you can see by all the pretty plants I've now got the squirrels left Enough of them alone. I just kept replanting them. They're doing just fine. Now I could take almost all these leaves off. I may, depending on how they rebound. I'm gonna give them a couple days, days and see. These healthy leaves, that's what you wanna see. are pretty shallowly planted as you can see the tubers like almost on top of the soil so we don't need to go too deep just deep enough to put our root ball in and firm them up could take all these tall flowers off but we're gonna leave them see how they do if I need to take them off in the next couple days I will here's our little baby guy They're all planted. So we've got one here at the edge. Planted this one in front of my two. Planted this one in front of these two. This one in front of these two. Then we put the last two right here and right here. Just kind of want to fill in this curve. More of that hot pink. We've got the light purple. I would have liked to put some more kind of in these zones, but since we filled in so many of the light purple tubers, I don't want to drill down into those areas. Hopefully I will keep finding other colors. I'd like some white cyclamen, I'd like some of the different uh, striations of cyclamen. We have different ones, but in the meantime, I am loving that these are just working. And if these are the only two colors I ever get, I will be very happy with that, especially these hot pink ones, because they are so visible from the other side of my garden. I love that, and I love that they are different sizes 
These little purple ones are just the cutest little winks. But as far as water goes, you can see that I have one drip line here and it runs right around this tree, meaning all of the cyclamen are on one side of that water. And that is more than enough. They do not like to be overwatered and they do not like to sit in water, which is perfect for under this tree. A lot of annuals that need a lot of water, they just were not compatible with these kinds of conditions. So what I was saying earlier is that cyclamen are drama queens, which means if they don't get their water for the day, they will literally lay down on the ground and weep and just look completely dead, which is a big part of why they look dead, dead, dead at the garden center. And I got them half off and they're actually fine. I'm not going to tell them that. But with constant water, these babies do just fine. In a lot of situations, people have cyclamen as indoor houseplants. I actually have one in my craft office right now. I love it, um, but they do need to be watered quite regularly without a drip system. If I start to see my indoor plant drooping, I water it, even if it looks completely dead, typically in an hour or two, stand them straight back up. It looks fine. She's just a drama queen. So. If you are in a zone that cyclamen can grow in, I'll put the zones up on the screen because I don't remember what they are. Give them a try in a shady spot with a little bit of water, not too much, lots of humidity, and see how they do. They're one of my favorite flowers that I never knew about, or at least not growing outside. Either way, I am going to go inside because I am, oh, well, I'm in so much pain. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.